Tunisian authorities inaugurated two photovoltaic plants in the city of Nebel. The first one cost $1.47 million. The project aims to reduce by half the costs of the consumption of the electricity in the municipality, especially public lighting and building. The second plant was installed at the Merezga sanitation station with a capacity of 300,000 kilowatts. The energy subsidy will this year exceed $621 million, hence the government's orientation towards the development of projects favoring energy saving, the acceleration of the achievement, and the generalization of the use of renewable energy. In addition to the generalization of photovoltaic plants to all municipalities, the government also plans to install photovoltaic panels to help reduce electricity bills for nearly 1 million low-income families as part of projects funded by the Energy Transition Fund. An international tender for the realization of renewable energy projects with a capacity of 600 megawatts will be launched in early April. The capacity will vary between 50 and 100 megawatts per project. The two solar plants were funded by the European Union. The EU will also provide tens of thousands of photovoltaic panels to heat schools and homes in inland areas. The European Union will continue its support to Tunisia to ensure the energy transition and develop the use of renewable energy. The EU has contributed about 61 million US dollars to the energy transition fund. In 2017, Tunisian Premier Youssef Ashahed announced the acceleration of the implementation of renewable energy projects in many regions across the country. Tunisia plans to generate 1,000 megawatts of electricity from wind and solar energy by 2020. Tunisia depends on neighboring Algeria to generate 75% of its electricity needs. Authorities now say the inauguration of new solar plants in the coastal city of Nebel will reduce the country's dependence on natural gas and fossil fuels in general to generate electricity. Adnan Shawashi, CGTN, Tunis.